Hi everybody. Did you know you can practice the ripple roll away from an instrument? You can actually do a good amount of work away from a marimba. For those who are less familiar with the ripple roll, it's 4 3 one, 2 The ripple roll is a type of roll just as much as uh, the independent roll, which is two-handed rolls, or the traditional roll. Somehow, I always end up not using the independent roll. That's my personal experience. I find, I find it sounds messy easily or difficult to make your voice stick out, to do voicing. I always give it a chance, <laughs> but I always end up not using it. I always use ripple or the traditional roll. So here are some exercises for the ripple roll. So the ripple roll is made of double lateral strokes, basically. Huh? Double lateral strokes. If I go fast. Okay, this is a double lateral stroke. So, we can start by practicing that. With, huh? Don't you think that's a good idea? <laughs> A lot of articulation on each stroke so you can kind of put strength involve strength in it so it doesn't need to sound good we want to really build muscles so later it's going to be easier to just play normally and we are going to play evenly more evenly and in a more fluid way so lots of articulation to start You might not feel relaxed, okay? It's kind of the whole point. We want to make it more difficult than it is. And in thirds. Same thing on the other side. Okay, second thing you want to do is to put an accent only on the inside mallets because that's often the weak spot, kind of the what's more difficult in double lateral strokes. So, accent only in the inside. Okay, third, third thing that now that we're going to do is to put everything together with accents in the middle. Once you're done doing this for quite a good amount of time, you can take away the accent. of each arm. So if I start focusing on my arms now, it's going to be easier to play more fluidly and faster. So basically we just have to rotate faster because there are many ways to go from point A to point B. I can go very slowly. I can go okay. I can go a little bit faster and then I can go really fast. 
but it's always the same distance, same movements. It's just the energy and the, the what we do with the space that's different. So it's the same thing when we play slowly and we play faster. Okay, so there's no no more movement. So I'll go slow and I'll accelerate. Really thinking of just going faster and focusing on the, rota the rotation of my arms. Ooh, we have a ripple roll! Now what we can do is practicing in thirds. That's it. After, when you're gonna be, uh, when you're gonna have a marimba around, you can practice with different intervals on the accident, accidental and natural bars at the same time, in all different positions and intervals. So that's it. But that's a very good workout, and I guarantee you, your ripple roll is gonna improve greatly.